Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, for step two is that we need to prepare the process account. So, if you, the first one that I'm going to show to you is the uh, OWIP using the weighted average cost method. Okay, uh, we are using the weighted average method to prepare the process account. Okay, uh, this one, uh, you, you, you prepare the process account on your debit side as usual just put in all the uh, all the figures here except for the the uh, the item that i want to introduce is the opening work in progress so opening work in progress here put on your debit uh, debit side you have your 600 units 600 units from the question and the put in the total value here 1830 Okay, refer to the question so you have the quantity is 600 units and the value you add all these things 720 500 340 and 270 that gives you 1830 so put there 1830 next you do uh, as usual from process 1 4100 from the question you have the uh, 4100 valued at 5155 and then you put in all the material introduced labor and overhead okay put there all the values okay. next uh, put in the output that you're going to transfer to process 3 so from the question the output that you're going to transfer to process 3 is 3500 units and then your closing WIP is 800 units. So you put there the value for your uh, process tree and your closing WIP. And then normal loss, you already worked out just now. Your normal loss is 390. And per unit, it is valued at 0 0.4. Therefore, the total value of your normal loss is 156. You also have worked out your abnormal loss in terms of the quantity just now as 10. So put there all the quantity. So the quantity should be balanced. Okay. Your quantity should be balanced for your account. After that, you have three uh, boxes that is uh, that are still uh, unknown. Okay. Three boxes that are still unknown. So you want to fill up all these three boxes. So you have to prepare the statement. So, you, you need to prepare the statement because you have the work in progress. So, you need to prepare the statement of equivalent unit, cost per unit and evaluation. So, uh, the first part of the statement is your statement of equivalent unit. So, you put in the item that you're going to transfer to process 3, CWIP, normal loss, abnormal loss. So, you just copy all these figures from your account. Okay, you have all these figures from your account here. Transfer it here. And then for your, uh, how many items that you're going to put on the right-hand side? How many columns? Okay, how many columns? Depends. Depends. In this case, you have process 1, material, labor, overhead. Okay, so you have four items or four columns. You can also refer to the questions that you have. Input material, material introduced, labor and overhead. That means you have four items all together that's why you have you're going to have four columns here and then your input material your for the pro, output that you're going to transfer to process 3 so they are all 100% complete so you put there 100% times 3500 so all the columns will be 3500 and then the same goes for your normal loss and abnormal loss they are all 100% complete just that for your closing WIP, you, ju you just do as the one that you have learned before. So the closing WIP depends on the percentage given in the question. So for your closing WIP given in the question, look for the closing WIP. Okay, input material, it is 100% complete. Here it uh, for your material introduced, 60%. For your labor, 50%. And for your OV, it is 40%. So you times with uh, it... Uh, 800 so 800 times 100 percent so you will get 800 there this one material introduced based on the percentage given in the question all right once you have finished with that then total up all this uh column okay you've got 4700 and so on uh, and then the one that i want to introduce here is that for the cost 
So the second part of the statement is, is your cause. So for your cause, you look, you need to add the opening work in progress. Okay, your, the opening work in progress in terms of the value. In terms of the value, you need to add all, uh, you need to put all these figures here. So uh, total will be 1830. Okay, 1830. Where do you get these figures from the question? So the based on the cost element, this one is for your opening work in progress. 720, 500, 340 and 270. Total gives you 1830. So make sure you put that opening work in progress under the cost. And then you have the cost incurred during the period. So this one is the cost incurred during the period. You can take from the question or you can take from the account that you have prepared. So put in the cost incurred during the period. And then total up, total this one, that will be your total cost. To calculate the CPU, the cost per unit, that will be your total cost divided by your total equivalent units. For this one, for example, for your input material, that will be RM5875 uh, divided by 4700 units. And that gives you 1.25 ringgit per Unit. So you can do for the remaining of the columns. So this one will be 3066 divided by 4380 and so on. And then total up all your CPU that gives you 3.05. Next part of the statement is you need to do the evaluation, statement of evaluation. For your evaluation, just copy whatever item that you have here in the same order. You have process 3, CWIP, normal loss, abnormal loss. You have process 3, CWIP, normal loss, abnormal loss. And then if that item is 100% complete, for example, output that you need to transfer to process 3, 3,500, you can straight away take 3,500 times your CPU of 3.05. This one, 3,500 times 3.05, you can straight away put in the total there. Alternatively, you can also do, do that column by column. That means 3,500 times 1.25, 3,500 times 0 0.7 and so on. And you will total that up again to the same figure. But for your closing WIP, because the items are different, so uh, the items are different for each column. So that's why you have to do it one by one, okay, for your closing WIP. So you will take 800 times 1.25. That will give you 1,000. And you do for the rest of the column. And then you total that up, right? And then for your normal loss and abnormal loss, you can straight away take this one, normal loss 390 times the total 3.05 and you can do the same thing for your abnormal loss or you can do it column by column. Okay, once you have done that, then transfer that. So this one, for your closing WIP, you can straight away transfer to process account. So go to your process account here so you can put in 1732. And then you can do the same thing for your abnormal loss here. Okay. Um, for your uh, value that you need to transfer to process 3, there are some adjustments that you need to do. You need to adjust for the normal loss absorb. So from uh, this, uh, how are you going to do that? So for your process 3, from the statement, you see here from the statement 10, 6, 7, 5. So you have 10, 6, 7, 5. And then... You have to adjust for your normal loss absorb. So from the statement, it is 1190. And then from the account just now, it is 156. So you have to adjust for that. Then only you will get a value that you're going to transfer to the process account 11709. So this is the value that you're going to transfer to process account and your account should be balanced. All right. So that's how you need to. Uh, that's how you prepare for the uh, uh, statement and the process to account. Okay, for if you are using the uh, weighted average method. Okay, if you are using the weighted average method, the item that I've just add uh, here, I've just added here, is that this one uh, one line here that is your opening work in progress. The rest are the same with what we have done before. You just add your opening uh, uh, work in progress here, the quantity and the total value here. And then in the statement, 
in the statement, you have to add the cost. Under the cost, you need to add the opening a work in progress here and put in the value for each of the elements of cost. Okay, that is the only difference. Then you calculate the CPU and the rest are the same. The same procedure that you need to do. Okay, with that, I thank you.